on a couch or something you might want if you've got a table in your home then you might want to move but you can still do it um, sitting at not at a table but it will just be a bit easier um, so basically what we're going to make is picture decorated picture frames so you all have a frame in your pack which looks like this and the idea is that we decorate it and it gets covered in nice tissue paper, which all layers Lovely. up very nicely. I've put in a wee photo in the frame uh, just to demonstrate. So you can see it's got sort of layers of tissue paper. Um, mm. And yeah, you can, you've got loads of different colors in your packs. So you'll be able to make it however you want, want it to look. Um, so I think just to start, you'll want to get your picture frame and get the, get the backing off it. Um, so I'll just lower my, my um, screen so that you can see a bit easier. So it's got these little pins at the back and you can, you can ease those up with your finger, but it might be a bit sore. So I just use a teaspoon and um, just lever the pins up to get them up. Um, is everybody, getting this stage okay? Yeah? Yeah, okay, so yeah. thank you. Then I just take the glass out and put it to the side. So this is real glass, so just be very careful with it and don't, please don't cut yourself <laughs> on, the, on the edges. Um, I just thought it's nice to get a real glass frame because it, it's just a bit more, it doesn't get scratched like Perspex does. Has everybody managed to get their frame? Their frame off the backing? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Put this to the side. Well, I'll just um, unpack my bag for now then. So in your bag, you'll have loads of tissue paper and a little brown paper bag, which has some bits and bobs in it and also a tub of this stuff which is called Mod Podge and that is Mod Podge is like a really good glue which also works as like a sealant and a varnish so it's really good for this activity we're going to do which is called decoupage so decoupage is um is means like to cut and stick paper and stick it onto a surface to decorate it um so yeah it's a really really nice technique. What I do is, if you don't want to make a mess of your table, you can just squish down your paper bag and use that as a surface to work on so, so that you don't get any glue on your table. So I'll just pop my papers to the side. In this wee bag, you've got some buttons and stickers and things, and you've also got a paintbrush. So Hopefully everyone is sort of at roughly the same stage. Has everybody got their table laid out okay? Yeah, I'm all done. <laughs> You're ready. Cool, perfect. So this wee tub is um it's got like a little bit on it that you can find. <laughs> There's like a wee tab, basically you need to pull down to get the lid off of the Mod Podge. Okay, so I will start, I will demonstrate how to do this and then maybe we can all kind of get started and we can work along with each other. So I'm going to start with this nice orange and I'll just tear. We don't need scissors or anything, we can just tear. I mean, if you have scissors and you want to use them, you're very welcome to, but I think it's easier just to tear the paper and you get a nice uh, rough edge. So I'll just tear a little bit of this or nice orange tissue paper. And what I need to do is apply the Mod Podge onto the surface. So we're out. Has everybody got their lid off okay? Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, good. So yeah, like I say, just want to paint on, I'll start on this bit of the frame. So I'm just painting on a bit of the Mod Podge onto the side as well and on there and just like a wee bit on the back as well. Just uh, 
just like here and here because what what I'm then going to do is to wrap the paper around it so I just pop a bit of paper on like that press it down and then use the glue to brush over it and that just gets it really nice and flat on the surface. So rather than getting your fingers all sticky, you just use the paintbrush and paint over and that smooths it down. And this um, Mod Podge is glossy, so it means that when it dries, you can see now you can kind of see it on the surface like over the tissue paper a little bit but when it dries it dries clear and glossy so it'll be like a nice glossy varnish on the on the frame so i think next i'll maybe choose a bit with a pattern on it i've chosen lots of different um tissue papers for you all so that you have like plenty of choice and um you can kind of just customize the frame however you want. So I think next I'll put a bit with a star on it. And so again, I just paint a wee bit there. And I'm going to overlap a little bit so that the color of the other tissue paper Pardon me, tissue paper, <laughs> couldn't say that at all there, goes through a bit because all of these tissue papers are sort of slightly see-through. So what that means is that when you layer them up, you get really nice layering effects, kind of like you can see on here. Oh, there's nice. like, there's yes. lots of different colors on top of each other. Mm -hmm. So what's quite fun is you can use the you know, like the wee dots, for example, can go over these colors and you can be, you can be quite creative with it, I think, and um, really play around with different colors and patterns. Yeah, I was going to ask you that, Jenny, though, because that's mm -hmm. my, that was going to be one of my questions that can you sort of layer it up just because of the, mm -hmm. the, you know, the type of transparency of the paper, the tissue paper. Yes. So you yes, can probably definitely. play about and get your own colors. So it's mm -hmm. um, very exciting. Yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah, so that, <laughs> that's the whole thing. So yeah, if you if you um, layer it, you can you can layer really as many, but within reason. But you can layer, you know, like three, four bits, and get all sorts of different colors going on. Like you say, yeah, you could mix colors, but there's also bits like you'll be kind of like here. There's like a pink over a green, and it it creates sort of different tones and shades and stuff. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that, I like that. That's that's because you can make it totally customizable to what you want. You yeah, know, exactly. Um, so like maybe if, if in keeping with a certain color theme that you've got, maybe or where you yeah. want the theme to go. So yeah, that's brilliant. exactly. So if you have like a certain, you know, if everything in your living room is a certain color scheme, which yeah. maybe you can see from my background, I don't really have like a color scheme. <laughs> I just kind of have loads of colors and patterns all over the place. Mm -hmm. But um, I think it means that you can make it as subtle as you want or as like fun and exciting. Yeah, as vibrant as you want. No, it's yeah, brilliant. Exactly. That's great. And there's also bits, I've put in some gold and some silver as well. And that's yeah. quite nice because it gives you different, um, like having the metallic alongside the sort of colors is quite nice as well. So I think, I think I'm going to go for quite warm colors for my frame. So I've got the kind of, orange and the brown and red and I think to complement that I'm going to put gold on it as well um so I think that'll be quite nice with the green and pink frame I put silver on it and I think that was nicer because it's sort of slightly cooler colors but I think that the gold will work quite well with this I'm definitely going to get my kids to do this I think during the Easter break it's um, so relaxing, it's, honestly. It's so relaxing, and it's it, it'll kill a couple of hours, and then the weather being so miserable as well, be something yeah, nice and creative yeah. they can do. Mm -hmm. And what's really good about it as well is, like, once you know the technique, you can use it on all sorts of different things. So maybe if yeah. you've got a box that looks a bit boring, or, like, mm -hmm. a notebook, or other picture frames, really, you can use it on, mm -hmm. use it so on this, this, um, Sorry, what was the name of this paste thing that you're putting on? 
This is called Mod Podge. So Mod, Mod it, Podge. Mod Podge. So I've written Mod it on Podge. the top of all of the ah, you containers have, right. so that you know what to buy if you run out. But to be honest, this will probably last like many, that's many a, that's, Yeah, that's a generous um, helping. Yeah. So what kind of surface? <laughs> What kind of surfaces, Zoe? Uh, um, sorry, not okay. Jenny, what surfaces, Jenny, would we be able to use the Mod Podge on? Is it obviously just for like wood, cardboard, metal? What yeah, kind of I'm not sure of all of the things, but like this is um, this is just like plain wood that I've painted with acrylic paint. So okay. the other thing is, I painted, I got these frames, and they were just sort of plain wood, like you can see on the back. Okay. But I painted yeah. them white with acrylic paint, and the reason for that is that it means that the colours look a bit more vibrant. Mm, yeah. So yeah. if you're doing a project yourself, um, and you've maybe got something that's wooden or a bit darker, then it's a good idea to paint it white with some acrylic paint beforehand, and then that means that, like, you get a lot more vibrancy with the colours. Okay, and, um, well, that's a good tip. That's a good tip. Um, but yeah, I think anything you know, cardboard, um wood i don't know about i don't know about plastic and metal but you know you can always what about glass what about glass, glass if you had yeah to... i think it works on glass you know i've actually got a tub over here i'm just going to go and check and see if it has any tips because um... especially because it, it i think because it gives a glossy effect once it dries mm -hmm. um you know i think that would pretty much work for a number of different sort of mm -hmm. um Mm -hmm. uh, decorational pieces mm -hmm. and just so this is what it looks like when it's in when you actually buy it from the shop okay um i'm just checking it says it says use on most surfaces um mm -hmm. so yeah i think you can really just give it a shot and <laughs> see what it works on see what it does that's great thank see you, what it does. Thank yeah. you Jenny. <laughs> have a wee experiment over these two holidays I think that I'm probably going to put some yellow in. Um, yellow is my favourite colour. And also, I think because the yellow is quite a pale colour, it will have nice um, transparency, so it should layer quite nicely. Um, Is everyone ha getting the technique okay with painting on top of the, painting the varnish onto the surface? Because okay. it, it looks, it sometimes, you know, when you're painting it, you're like, oh, it's a bit wrinkly, but that's just while it's wet and then it kind of dries off nicely and just comes like a really nice solid surface. You can be as a, uh, you can do as many different things as you want, or you can maybe, what can be nice is if you, you know, want to make like the top half of the frame, just like a block color and then the bottom half really patterned, or you could do it like stripes with two different colors. Like there's lots of different, there's lots of different ways you can do it. So I kind of just go for a very, all over the place approach, but you might want to really plan it and just do say like, like, you know, black and white and gold stripes, for example, could yeah. be a really cool thing to do. Um, so I think it just depends what your personal taste is like and what your decor is like, and, and you can just kind of take it from there. I'm gonna add some more of this nice orange. And that's why I chose as many, I wanted to get as many different uh, different tissue papers into the packs as possible so that everybody has plenty to choose from. Because I think if I was doing, <laughs> if I was doing this in a, in a room, we'd all just kind of have tissue paper in the middle and we just kind of grab whatever we wanted. But I wanted to make sure that everybody had sort of unlimited choice at home. So like I say, you'll end up with loads of leftovers that you can, you can use maybe with your kids or for different projects later on. So I'm just going to show you, it can be a wee bit fiddly when you get to the corners of the frame. So mm -hmm. when you get kind of in here and around these edges, it's a bit, um, it's a bit trickier. So 
I'll just try and show you what how to sort of do it. So basically here, I'll just try and again just paint the glue on, mod podge on. And I'll try and get the I'll put my brush down. I'll try to get the tissue paper right up to the edge here so that it's kind of just going to be quite neat going around this corner. So it's just a case of getting it as close to the edge as possible. And then I'll stick another bit next to it. I'll stick a bit here and that will be the corner, the corner cupboard. It is a wee bit fiddly. The other thing with these frames as well is that they have this um, sort of bumpy bit here, which I think is quite nice and adds to the design of the frame. But um, it does make it like a little bit trickier um, just to get the, the tissue paper really smooth. So I'm just popping this bit of gold here and just really getting it over getting it over the edge like that and so so yeah you can see that that's the corner um filled in but you have to just be a bit more um a bit more careful with getting it right up to the edge and also with the outer corner as well, that can be a bit trickier. So I'll get another bit of tissue paper here. Get a bit of it. And just paint it on again. Because it's on a corner, if you just kind of if you were just to put the bit of paper kind of on, then you'll find you'll get lots of, a lot of folds in the paper mm -hmm. because it's mm -hmm. a flat bit of paper on a 3D surface. Mm -hmm. This is hard to explain, so hopefully everybody's following what I mean here. So basically what you want to do is pop it on and kind of, I'm putting it here. And so then it will just fold round and uh, get quite a nice neat corner. So I think if you have smaller bits of tissue paper while you're working on this part, it's a bit easier because it is a little bit fiddly. So I've got this smoothed over the corner here. And then you can see at the back, there's just like a wee, a lip of tissue paper. So I'm just going to fold that over and uh, it's a wee bit bumpy, but because it's at the back, it doesn't matter. And there's a nice neat corner there. So I'll just fill in the rest of that bit, I think. <laughs> Look at the mine. Look. Oh, Muna, that's oh, lovely. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Yeah. I love I, it. You know, when I tear paper off, uh, they don't come like yours. Mm -hmm. That is oh, lovely, Muna. Mm -hmm. I'm just keeping it in the dark. I love the gold and, and pink I love and purple. Gold and pink. It looks that, yeah. that looks very really nice. nice. Very nice. Beautiful, yeah. Are you remember is everybody remembering to paint on top of the paper? The yeah, paper yeah. Blue? Clad shines. And it'll it make it nice makes it nice and shiny and it just means mm. that everything will be nice very different. I, I never done that before. This mm. is first time. It is nice, isn't it? I think it's a really nice creative activity. And what I like about it is that it's, it's really relaxing. It's really creative, but you don't need to be good at drawing or anything. And you don't really need any very fancy equipment. You just need this paintbrush and the, and the Mod Podge. And you can, you can kind of really let your imagination run wild. So I think it's, I think it's really nice. And it's, I'm hoping that everybody will be inspired to 
try different projects because I think especially at the moment when we're all spending so much time in our houses oh yes <laughs> Muna, that is gorgeous no, that, is that is so nice yeah, yeah, the I, love is that. A wrinkly, I don't know how to do this that yeah. Yeah, yeah, dry, dry. Well, dry. It will dry a bit flatter, but it looks yeah. it looks beautiful. Honestly, yeah. I think the colors yeah. you've chosen are so nice. nice. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, Muna, that a very nice color choice. Mm -hmm. oh, very thank nice. You. It's very Let's warm. Go with my my paint. So I thought I'll go with your decor. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah. No, the orange, gold, and the pinks is just a lovely combination. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are warm color. You know, very yes. warm. Yeah. And do you have a picture that you're going to put into it? Uh, yeah, I've got lots of pictures, but uh, I always say I'm going to make a frame, do this, but always lying in a cupboard. So I'm going to choose really nice mm. picture. Yeah. Well, this is the perfect workshop for you then. That's that's brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's so good. Because I think, yeah, it's it's nice to have a fr like a, a special frame for a nice photo and something that you've decorated yourself as well I think makes it even better because yeah, you, yeah. you can even decorate the frame to sort of uh, even match some of the colours in the photo or yeah. like the mood of the photo so I did yes. a decoration my frame a bathroom a mirror frame with the sequin Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the thing is, the nice come out, but every time when I clean mirror, the, a few sequins come out and on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> yeah, they keep dropping the, the sequins, so mm -hmm. this is the bad thing about it. Mm -hmm. Well, I've just noticed the time, so what I'm going to do is to show you something that you can do once you've finished. If I can find my things underneath all of these bits of paper, <laughs> I'm making a big mess here. Um, is that it there? I just dropped. No. I'm looking for my wee brown. Ah, there it is. Okay. So I've got my wee brown paper bag. I'm just going to yeah. tip out the stuff that's in it. Um, so I've got all of these buttons and there's like little pearl heart stickers which are quite nice yeah. mm -hmm. and um you could also add your own embellishments so maybe Muna with your sequins that have fallen off the picture frame you could <laughs> take them and stick them onto this picture frame um, okay <laughs> so I've given you all, like lots of buttons and stuff um yeah to write with um and to stick them on I've given you this little roll of glue dots um so these things are quite, they're really good and useful because they're just like little stickers that you use to uh, stick the button on, but they are a bit fiddly. So I'll show you, I'll hopefully manage to show you how, how they work. So if you peel back the paper, you'll see this little glue dot here and you just peel it off with great difficulty. <laughs> and they're very sticky, so uh, they're perfect for this. So peel it off, stick it onto the picture frame, which as you can see is very fiddly, <laughs> not that easy. It's easier once the frame is dried, but the Mod Podge is still a bit wet. Yes. Jenny, your frame look lovely, very yeah. neat, very nice. Oh, thank yeah. you, thank you. So you can use the, you stick the little glue dot onto the frame and then, or stick it onto the button actually, and then you can stick the button onto the frame. So I've chosen this nice sort of orangey red button, which goes quite nicely. But, okay. Oh, yes. But you could also, yeah. um, you've got a sort of selection of buttons in there. So you could also do a bit of a contrast, like maybe this um, green button is quite fun for a bit of contrast. Um, so basically, you can go as matchy matchy with it as you like, or you can mix things up a bit and add a bit of contrast. So you've got these buttons and also these little... Those uh, little pearl heart things are just gorgeous. Little pearl heart stickers I think are really nice. Very so nice. Yeah, pop, them, pop them on as well if you want. I think I'll pop one onto mine. Um, there we go. 
So the advice, Jenny, is to wait until it fully dries and then. Yeah, do all I this. think it's a lot yeah. easier. I'm just showing mm -hmm. you so that you know yeah. what to do when it comes to it. But mm -hmm. the glue dots will stick a lot better um, when you when the Mod Podge is dry. Exactly. It doesn't take too long to dry, really. I think after about an hour, you should be able to, to stick embellishments on if you like. Also, you don't have to. Like with this frame, I thought there was so much going on that I just decided just to leave it plain. But mm -hmm. now I'm looking at it, I'm thinking, oh, maybe a little, little pink button, that'd be quite nice. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, if you, you might have stuff lying around in your house as well, you know, sequins, yeah. other buttons, glitter. The other thing that you can do with this technique, which is really nice, is the tissue, you can use tissue paper, but you could also use bits of like magazines or like gardening catalogs or something if anybody has any yeah catalogs with nice patterns in them and stuff um magazine cuttings you can use all sorts of things if you want to have a bit of um variation with it so once your tissue paper is run out you can you can use bits of newspaper bits of um jenny what about fabric would you use bits of textile you could use bits of fabric i think i think that um I'm just going to check. <laughs> um, da, 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 da. Paper or fabric. So yeah, that's really wow. good. Safina. Yeah. So what you could do is if you have like nice, um, nice printed fabric. I think it's mm -hmm. maybe easier with thin fabric. But yeah, yeah I can absolutely. imagine. Yeah. Yeah. So cool. again, like for sort of looking at the zero waste aspect, if you've got you know bits of scraps of of fabric. You know, mm -hmm. maybe utilize it like this. Maybe for a bigger project, you know, mm -hmm. you can mm -hmm. use more. But I think that again would be lovely, like a little sort of you know, how you get the, you know, the kind of um, patchwork quilts. You know, so you could have little strips of different fabric, different, different styles, fabrics, patterns. Yeah, yeah. and yeah, you could do definitely. that. Yeah, if you've got an old, you know, item of clothing that's worn out, and you or like old pillowcases and stuff like that as well. Yeah. Um, Sometimes it's quite nice to have like a like sort of like a memorabilia type of thing. So it's maybe something a like outfit you wore, you know, you, I don't know your your kid's first day at school, or I don't know, it's got some sort of sentimental memory attached to it, and you can mm -hmm. then. But you obviously the stuff is done away. My daughter does that. Um, mm -hmm. she's very sentimental so she keeps little you know chips of everything she kept a little chip of her bookshelf because she had it since she was born and when we moved <laughs> home it was done in so she you know she's a weirdo but she kept a little part of it and I said what are you gonna do she goes I'm not doing anything with it but I've, I've just got it because I <laughs> it's part of my childhood so you know things like that I'm just thinking you could probably um mm -hmm. put it into like a wee, wee art piece but that is mm -hmm. absolutely lovely yeah that's a really good idea so yeah like um like Safina's saying like you don't just have to do it to decorate a thing you could even make a picture out of it if you had a big bit of paper or card and you wanted to stick photos and bits and bits of fabric even like a little that's a good idea yeah like because a collage thing yeah, yeah. Like a collage um yeah. and what's nice about that is that using this kind of glue just makes it like a really a nice smooth surface and it yeah. sticks it down really well. How's everyone getting on? Can I see if anyone wants to show me anything? I would just think, there we go. Oh, wow. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that looks beautiful. Oh, Auntie, Love that's that. lovely. Very mm -hmm. nice. That's lovely. Really nice. Mm -hmm. Very nice. What mm, I really like anyway. is that you've made a plan and you've kind of, you've yeah. got, uh, you've yeah, got Jenny, a I try to stick with the colours and I thought maybe I'll just have like the one pattern going through because her room's pink and gold. But yeah. I, that, would go, that would go so well. Once you, once yeah. the whole thing is done, you'll probably feel yeah, better about it. I think it's lovely. Add in some pink, maybe some pink somewhere, yeah. yeah. As you can see from mine, which is taking me about 10 years, to do, I don't think I'll ever be finished <laughs> myself. <laughs> So Zoe, um, I don't know why I keep saying Zoe. Jenny, so at the at the end of this, all do you have to do like a finishing coat over anything, or pretty much you just let leave it to dry and that's yeah. it? Yeah, you just leave it to dry. So uh, how long should, how long does it take to dry? Just that, just not on average. Very long, probably about an hour or something. So Never. the whole way, as you've been sticking it on, you've been painting onto it with you've been painting a coat over each little mm -hmm. bit of paper. So that means that it's sort of varnishing it as it goes okay um, as it goes along so you shouldn't need to add any more if you once it's dry if you look at it and you see oh actually maybe you know this bit is stuck it looks yeah. like it. 
you can always go over it a bit more with a bit okay, more of okay. the mod podge but um so the, it, it, that's it's very really like um you know uh I, 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 not i would call it easy but you know it's a nice sort of relaxed activity to do and it doesn't take long to to dry either so i think that's definitely a good choice jenny and uh, showing so thank you so much for taking the time to show us all together the packs so <laughs> the, the pack was the hardest part <laughs> yes i can imagine you did a great job